Good afternoon you lovely YouTubers. I'm just going to do a quick boil test on two stoves that I've just bought. I've got both the Soto Windmaster, which is a new addition to the family, and I've also managed to get a second hand MSR wind boiler. So I'm going to just try them. There's only about a 5 mile an hour wind here, but I'm just going to test them in terms of boil time in more or less ideal conditions and see which is the most powerful. I'm going to add about 300 mils of water to each of them and boil that, which is typical for me of a, a drink. Uh, just enough for evaporation as well to make a decent sized cup of tea or whatever, or enough water for a boil in the bag meal in some cases. So obviously the wind burner comes with its own cup built in, but for the Soto I'm going to use my titanium snow peak pot, which I've had for years. One thing I noticed with the Soto is you've really got to turn it, it doesn't even kick in with the gas until you're about two or three turns there. It also comes with its own wee igniter on the side there. It is quite tall though compared to say my Optimus Crux or an MSR Pocket Rocket. It's also worth mentioning I'm using a kind of half empty if not less amount of gas in here. There's a regulator in here which is supposed to help if you've got lower gas amounts in the canister. I should still regulate it and keep it going. Full burn on that one and we'll start timing. You can see the very small gap between the burner and the cup. I think it's about five mils I believe, which is in theory what stops the wind blowing it out so easily. Okay that was actually two minutes sixteen to a rolling boil. On, yeah, that is on, you can hardly tell. Okay, here we go, same thing. Okay, let's see how long this takes. Again, it's just worth mentioning there's negligible wind really, so it's not a wind test. It's really just to see the power and the efficiency of the burner. Right, unfortunately right in the middle of the experiment the original gas canister ran out. We've run the original MSR wind boiler on a new canister, so I'm going to run the Soto on a new canister just to be absolutely fair. Right, brand new canister. Let's just check, double check this and see how we get on. Well, that was a surprise in many ways. With a fresh canister, I could not separate the timing between the two of them. Both of them took about 1 minute 25 to boil 300 millilitres. So there you go, not very scientific, but on a partially empty gas or a nearly empty gas, it definitely takes longer to boil. But if you use a brand new canister, I couldn't separate them. Both of them took 1 minute 25 seconds to boil 300 mils, which is typical of what I would boil up for a drink or a meal. So there you go, maybe not that scientific, but an interesting little test and I'm going to get both these stoves out this weekend and try them. That was only about a 5 or 10 mile an hour wind, so not a great test, but just the ability to see what they're like on full burn in perfect conditions. So thanks for watching, see you out there soon.